All right, here today we're talking about picking the right buffer for the right application. Here at our shop, we prefer to use Makita's. Uh, the Makita 9227C is a 3500 RPM variable speed buffer. Uh, it varies anywhere between 600 RPM and 3500 RPM. Now you can use all of these buffs or any of these buffs with the variable speed buffer. The 9227C is very versatile. Uh, for the beginners, guys that haven't polished before, I recommend that. Uh, it runs at a slower speed. It's a lot more forgiving. Um, the white buffs, uh, you literally cannot spin those over 2,500, 3,000 RPM. I try to keep those down between 1,800 and 2,500, honestly. Uh, I find it leaves the best finish, um, and it doesn't risk blowing them out, that kind of stuff. Um, the buff and blend discs and the surface conditioning discs, um, these I like to run at about 1800 to 2500 as well um, Just because the slower the speed the deeper the bite uh, it works a lot better at slower speeds the higher speeds It just seems to kind of glaze over the top and doesn't like to sand it out the way it should they will bite a lot better at the lower speeds Now for your advanced users uh, The guys that want to get this done and get to the high mirror finish like we do um, We use the Makita GA7021 uh, It's a 6000 rpm set rate buffer uh, it spins at 6,000 RPM all the time. Now let me be the first to tell you, it's dangerous. It's very dangerous to run at 6,000 RPM. Um, I've seen buffs blow out and hurt people. Um, I've seen broken fingers, I've seen cuts, I've seen bruises. Um, you name it, we've seen it. But I can tell you, we run about two to 3,000 buffs a year through my shop, and I haven't had any of these buffs blow out personally that wasn't my own personal fault. Um, we've had some of these buffs blow out when we hit them on glad hands, stuff like that. It likes to cut along the trim ring, but we haven't personally had any buffs blow out here that's hurt anybody. Now on the high speed buff, the only thing that we run on the high speed buffs is our cutting pads or our coloring pads. So orange, yellow, red, pink, any way that's a heavy airway like this that has heavier fabric, we will use them on the 6000 RPM. The softer fabrics at 6,000 RPM don't like to hold into the clinch rings. These clinch rings are like little shark's teeth. They bite into the fabric. At the higher speeds, it likes to tear the fabric and throw them apart. No matter what brand you have, no matter what stuff you use, the higher speeds with softer fabrics will always blow up. Um, it doesn't, I shouldn't say always, it doesn't always happen. Um, but your likelihood of it happening is very high. So our personal recommendation is the Makita's. Uh, the DeWalt's do work well as well. Um, I personally don't use the DeWalt's only because the torque rating isn't as well. Uh, as soon as you put a DeWalt under torque, it likes to slow down the RPMs and it doesn't stay as nice. Um, the other brands, Bosch, Milwaukee, any of those, they all do really nice as well. But Makita is our personal preference here. The torque stays very consistent and when it comes down to polishing consistency is key the more consistent and even you can keep your rpms and your pressure the more even your shine will be so we use 6000 rpm for our cut and our color and then anytime we get into sanding or finishing we're always using our variable speeds 